Well, good afternoon and welcome to the follow-on for the good old transit. And today I'm tackling ball joints. Now, during the process of uh, rubbing on the chassis and under sealing and treating everything, I found that the, the gator for the bottom ball joint was all deteriorated and perished and there was a bit of play in the ball joint. So, in preparation, I soaked these bottom three bolts under here and I've removed the strut bolts from the hub to give me a bit of room to get a, a socket on the top nut on top of the ball joint to crack that off just to make life a bit easier and then I'll just clean all this up and give this a bit of a, a rub down and get rid of all the flaky rust but um, generally to get these ball joints out they can either go straight forward or be a pain so the trick is soak them well with some penetrating oil leave it for a couple of days get yourself a decent breaker bar like so it does help a bit more leverage just enough to crack them off and away you go so um just got this bar on there now so let's see how we get on and hopefully crack this uh crack this bottom ball joint out okay the top nut on top of the ball joint is very tight and uh as you can see it just snapped my extension bar and uh okay well let's get another bar well, at last the nut is off uh, didn't break another extension bar thank goodness so now let's try and break this bottom ball joint now so um let's give this a bash okay um i had to remove the whole hub because the uh, ball joint was so stuck into the hub and it was easier just to remove the whole hub as one complete unit bolts came out okay but i just couldn't split this joint here with it in situ um you can use like the fork type uh, ball joint splitters but uh, i found it easier to use this Sykes pick of a heavy duty one straight in there like that as you can see wind the bolt up and she'll split the joint and i've already done this one as you can see and yeah a couple of turns pulled it straight out no problems it's gonna go get the hub a quick clean up anyway and uh clean up the area ready for the new ball joint to go on to so uh, yeah looking good so new ball joints in and I'm gonna swing the hub round put the track rod back on then put the strap back on and then tighten it all up put the caliper back on and job done okay the bottom ball joints all on track rod ends all on and she's ready to rock and roll so the trick with these is if you know if, if you have trouble splitting it down it, it's no hardship to drop this drop the whole hub off literally the four bolts um here holding the the strut on take those off track rod end off caliper off and then you can just lift the whole hob hub completely off 